Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about static keyword in dart programming so guys static keyword is nothing but it can be applied to the data members of a class so previously we have seen how we can define a class and inside a class we can encapsulate fields and methods so on these fields and methods we can have the static keyword applied and these fields and methods can be called as static fields and static methods now a static variable retains its values till the program finishes its execution so guys these static fields and methods these are at the level of the class and not at the object and it retains the value that is the common value for all the objects until the program finishes execution so the static members are referenced by the class name and this is the example as you can see let's say we have inside a void main we have a static member over here as you can see we have static mem as the class and then inside that we have an integer that is num which is defined as a static so using the static keyword as the prefix we can define the static field and in the similar way we have another function over here that is display and then we have the static keyword before the function name and in this way we can define the static functions or static methods as well and then we have the static mem dot num that is we are using the class name as you can notice over here the static mem is the class name over here that is being used in order to refer to this num variable so guys let us understand this with the help of example so let's say we have a class over here that is animal so as seen previously the animal class it will have the variable that is name that is name of the animal and let's say we have a function void display name that will display the name of the animal so what i will do is i will just print the name of animal is dollar name and then guys in order to initialize this variable that is name for a particular object what i will do is we will have a constructor so as seen previously how do we define the constructor it is having the same name as that of the class and then followed by some parameter so a parameter can be another name so let's say animal name is the parameter and then what we will do inside these curly braces is this name that is this variable name it is equal to the animal name that is being passed so i'll just paste this over here and in this way we have a constructor we have a variable that is name and in order to display the name we have this function what i will do is let's say we have to initialize the object so how do we initialize a class object we have to provide the name of the class and then followed by the object name so let's say we have animal one in this case and then what we will do is with the new keyword we will provide the name of the class followed by the parameter since this constructor is expecting a parameter over here so what i will do is let's say we have the animal as a dog and then what we will do is we will use this object that is animal one over here and then we have a dot followed by this display name since we want to call the function that will print the name of the animal and then open and close brackets and then semicolon so let me save this file and try running this code over here so dart keyword followed by program name dot dart so as you can see the name of animal is dog so guys this much we have seen previously already like how do we define the class and then how do we initialize an object of a class and use the method of a class now guys important thing is let's say we have another variable such as counter so we want to count the number of objects that we have created so let's say we have to provide a static keyword in this case because this counter is not belonging to any particular object but it will belong to the entire animal class guys so what we are going to do is static and let's say we have an int and then we have count so what this will do is it will count the number of animal objects that we have created till now and then what i will do over here is once this animal object is created i will call this count variable so how do we call this count variable since it is a static variable over here we have to use this class name that is animal so i'll copy this paste this over here and then followed by dot and then in the same way like how we call the methods over here we can directly call the variable name over here that is count so i'll just copy this and paste this over here and then what i will do is i will just increase the value by 1 so let's say initially we have it as 
what I will do is I'll just cut this and at the start of the code we have to provide this so that it is initially zero and then let's say we have another thing that is animal count it is equal to zero initially and then once we create a animal one object of the class animal we have to increment this count by one so what we are doing over here is animal dot count it is equal to animal dot count plus one so this will be incremented by one so guys the value of the count will be one for now so what i will do is i will print this value that is print and then the count of animal objects is and then inside dollar and then curly braces we have animal dot count being printed so i'll just copy this and paste this over here and then semicolon let's try saving this file and running this code so guys it is saying error field count should be initialized because its type int doesn't allow null so guys what we will do is instead of initializing in the main method what i will do is i will remove this line of code and over here we will initialize it that is zero and then what we are going to do is once the animal object is created that is in the form of animal one the count will be incremented over here by one and then we are displaying the name and then the counter of the animal objects i'll save this file and try running this code so as you can see the name of animal is dog the count of animal objects is one for now so guys one object is created already and using this class name we can refer to the static variable that is count so as you can see we have referred to this class name over here and printed this counter over here now let us create another object over here for animal so let's say i'll just copy this and we'll paste this over here and then we have this animal two and then let's say we have instead of dog we have cat and then the same set of lines we will just copy and paste this over here so what we are doing is we are creating another animal object as animal 2 and the name will be cat and over here we have animal count equals animal count plus one so again the counter will be increased since we created another object and then instead of displaying the animal one we will display animal two since guys this is not a static method it is a normal method over here we have to use the object name instead of the class name so always remember that whenever there are static methods or variables we directly use class name if the method or variable is not static in this case and in display name then we use the object name over here that we created and then guys this display name will print the name of the animal and then the counter will be increased and it will be displayed over here so let me save this file and try running this code so as you can see the name of animal is dog in the first case the count of animal objects is one and then the name of animal is cat in the second object and then the counter has increased the count of animal objects is two so guys this is at the class level since the count is a static variable whereas the names of the animals these are at the object level so two different objects are having two different names over here that is dog and cat but the count variable as we can see over here since it is static so it will have just one value throughout the code execution so guys that's it in this video i hope you have got enough knowledge about the static keyword please make sure that you practice on your own and define static methods as well as a homework for you please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is super keyword in dart programming so stay tuned